I was born September the 12th, 1893, in a small town. The name is Boiberke. It's near Lemberg in Galician. Uh, until the years of uh, 1900, I was learning in a Haida, and I started to go to school in 1900. Over there was a public school by the government, which it was enforced to uh, children to be educated. Now, when uh, I started to go to school, I was learning in a Haida by a man by the name of Gune Meyer. He was an old man, but a very good Rebbe. What, wo what was a good Rebbe in those days? That means that the children are afraid for him. Suppose they didn't behave, he hit. And that's what he did. But when the children knew, when the children were a little bit smart, so he didn't hit. I was a good child. In other words, I, uh, I took it over right away when he learned, and I knew it right away. So we had to go in the morning, early in the morning, to Haida from 8 o'clock until 1 o'clock in school. From school, we had to go back again to Haida that the time, that means well, the, while we were learning in school, over there was hanging over us, you know, uh, Jesus, Jesus Christus. And while we were going without heads, in school, so in other words, maybe our heads took on a little bit timid, so we had to go to Haida for about an hour, that the timid should go out, and then we go home to eat our meal. I, by Chune Maya, I started Chumish, and also by six years, I started to learn Gemure. Gemure, in those days, we started, it was the first Mishneh Mutzes Furem in Bove Metzie, and then it, the second Mishneh was Avoidus Oivavides Ovev, Avoidus Rabboi Vavides Ovev, Avoidus Avaidas Rabboi Kodemis. Lama? מפני שרבו מביא לך היה אוהל המבו, ואבף מביא רק לך היה הוא אוהל המזה. And so we were learning until about I was seven years. Seven years I went over to another rabbi by the name of Rebchaskale Auerbach. Rebchaskale Auerbach was already a different rabbi altogether. He he made himself that he is going to hit, but he couldn't hit. He was never a, a shvachayit. But we had to, over there we were only about nine or ten children to learn, and we learned only Gemure and Chemish and Rash. But we had to learn the Gemure already a year. That means every day, every week, we had a certain omit gemure to know it, while my father used to uh, hear on Shabbos Bamtish if I know the gemure or not, and if I know the chumish midrashe or not. Did I know it? Was good. Didn't I know it? Good. So I couldn't eat by the table together with the other brothers. Because I didn't know it. That means I was a goy. If I'm a goy, why should he give me to eat? There's uh, plenty goy, you know. 
Why should he give me to eat? And, and you know, I was ashamed, and I didn't eat that Shabbos by the table. And uh, my mother wanted to give me on the side to eat, but you know, it was uh, it wasn't so good. And then uh, Saturday in the afternoon, when uh, my father used to go in Shilachen, you know, to Dav Menche, he saw the Rabbi, and he told the Rabbi, uh, that means I didn't know the Shia. And it was Sunday morning, the Rabbi hit, you know, it was a, ter- a terrible thing. So, in other words, the next Shabbos, I knew it already, the Shia, very, very good. I learned by Repaskala about the uh, Azman, that means six months, and after he never got sick, and the Rabbi, and my father had to give me to another Rabbi by the name of Yidale Melamed. By Yidale Melamed, it was already a different thing altogether. He, he uh, made himself that he hates, and over there we were free. We bait it more than we uh, learned. You know, it was a free living. In other words, the whole man, I didn't know much. If I didn't know much, so my father said, Gitabrida, I'll have to give you into Fabel. Fabel Melamed was already a different Melamed. Fabel Melamed, dort hat ihn geschlagen. He hit, he said, by mir in Stuka Hochmus. Other me can, other me can nicht. If you know, your shear is very good. If not, I'll make you to know it. And he hit, you understand? And uh, I came in over there the first day, it was right after Sukkis. I came in and uh, he hit me right away, before I sat to the table. I said, why? He said, you know it. If I'm going to hit you, then you'll know what kind of a rabbi I am, and then you'll know it. But if I wouldn't hit you, you'll think that you are by Yidol Melamed. Ah, by me is no chokhmis. And we started to learn right away the chum, Bereshis, and over there the first Rashi, Umar Yitzchak, and he said, I want to hear you, that means me, that you know this Russia right away by heart, because I know if you want, you know it. And if you wouldn't know it, then you'll get hit. I learned it the first time, and I took it to my head, and I had to know it. And he uh, wanted to see if I know it by heart. And I knew the whole, the whole Pusik by heart. He said, now, I see if you want, so you know it. In other words, when you don't want it, you don't know. So it only means that when you don't want it. This it again. All right. I had to be over there early in the morning. At 5.30, until 8 o'clock, we learned over there. 8 o'clock, we ran to school. We was running because we shouldn't be late. 8 o'clock, we had to be already because 8 o'clock, they ring the bell. It was not far away from the school. And we learned in school until 1 o'clock. Those times were not like today. My mother couldn't get, my mother should rest in peace, couldn't get up in the morning to make me any iron juice or to warm up for me milk. Nothing at all. I didn't eat until when we came back from Haider, it was two. After two o'clock, I didn't have to my mouth nothing at all. I came hungry like a wolf. I said to Mama, Mama, I'm hungry, I want to eat. She said, what do you want? I could give you bread. Mit schmaltz, that means fattening from the chicken. I could give you bread with poverty. That means they made out of prunes. They made a such uh, No, I don't want it. So I'll give you uh, a penny that you should buy herring with a piece of bread. Oh, 
Okay, I took the penny and I put it in my pocket and then I went on the quiet and I stole away a little bit poverty and I put it on my bread and then I run out a little bit for about a half hour to eat a piece of bread and go back to Haida. Learning by Favel Melamed, it was uh, like a history, they say. We were between 18, between 18 and 20 youngsters that we learned by Favel, all, all around the table. So it was like this. Four benches we were sitting. So he divided them on like this to the wall and in the back and to his bed and where he was standing. Where he was standing, that was his, but he chose out the best that he should have an eye on them. They were ever sitting on the wall against us were also good ones that he should have his eye. Those in the right side were the, the, this he called already a tume mechlet. In other words, it's no use them learning. He just takes money for them to watch that they shouldn't go around to the, on the street. So he takes money for them, but they wouldn't know to learn nothing at all. And this, but they were sitting near to his bed, were mediums, like they say. He said in the morning when we came in, 5.30, he said the Shia, it was already an Umit Gemure. Every week and we had to learn it, and we learned that time, to, that season, we learned Bubakame. Meribe, that's the seventh Beirik. And we learned it very, very good. I had to know every week the Shia like anything. If not, it, the hitting part, the hitting was so bad that we can't imagine. And I was so afraid for him that it was terrific. Half past five and I had to be over there. Because it was a uh, hanging uh, clock on the wall that he was standing more than going. And I was sleeping right across the clock that I should be able to get up early in the morning because I had to get up at 5 to be in Haida 5.30 until I got dressed, until we ran over there, you know, children. I had made up all the time with one, another, another boy in my age. His name was Shulem Ere that either when I get up early, I should wake him, if, and if I, he gets up early, he wakes me. What does it mean waking? It means to knock at the window or to knock at the door. Many, many times, the, the, the I didn't know the clock, what time it is, and it was, the snow was outside on the street, and the moon was uh, light, so about 12 o'clock, I thought already, it's uh, 5 o'clock, and I got up, and I came out, in the, and nobody was on the street, and I went over to Shulamere to wake him up, and his father uh, said, what's the matter, what is it, you haven't got no clock? And, but the frighten was so bad, that I was afraid I shouldn't come in later a minute to Favel Melamed. Once it so happened, over there was uh, a big hall where I went to wake up my friend, and over there was sitting all the time Nebuch, uh, old Jewish woman. She was blind, and she was a little bit crazy. And during the day, we children start up with her. We told her that uh, her husband should have a, such a piece of gold like the gazims from the shield. And when we told her that, so she wanted to hit us with a stick. But, you know, we uh, ran away. 
it just so happened that I got up and I went into the hall and it was dark. I just had a little um, candle, but uh, with a candle. And while I was running, I feel that I stepped on a body. I got so scared, terrific, and I went over to the door where Shulamira was living, and I knocked with my both hands, terrible. His father got up, and he said, Now, before you lay down to sleep, because it's too early, I want to tell you one thing. I'll light up a candle, and I'll show you with who on who you stepped up, that you shouldn't be afraid, you shouldn't think that this was, God forbid, a dead poison. This is Brandl, that uh, you should know on who you stepped up. Second thing, I'll ask your father why he don't buy a good, a good clock to the house. The third thing, you're going to lay down with Shulam in bed, and I'll wake you up when to go to Haida. He took a candle, and we went out, and he showed me the way Brandl drove with her stick this way and this way, because somebody stepped on her. And at five o'clock, he woke us up, and we went to Haida. The other night, I came home, my father asked me, What's the matter? Why, why did you get up so early? And what did you do by uh, Shula Meiris so early in the morning? I said, you haven't got no clock. The clock uh, stopped all the time. And I have to be f uh, 5.30 by 5. What do you want from me? He said, okay, I'm going to see that the clock should go ahead from now on. And then we bought uh, a clock to the house. While we learning by Favel, it was everything all right. I was learning by Favel seven and a half zmanim, seven zmanim, that means three and a half years. And when I uh, finished by Favel, that means I knew already good Gimure. I was already about uh, 11 years old. So my father gave me in back again to Haskala Melamed that I should learn over there, Gimura Vitoisevis, and we started to learn Chil and Yeredaya. And the first thing we learned was Hilches Meliche. And then we started Hilches Busa Bechulev, Hilches Tarivis. Once I came home and I told my father, What do you want to make out of me? A roof. He said, And I'll ask you and you're going to tell me what you should learn or what you shouldn't learn. This what I am telling you to learn. You have to learn. It's no matter, no question. That's all. What is it? You have to say anything. Sha. I had to keep it quiet, you understand? And I went to school, but in school I learned very good. Very, very good. In fact, I, uh, I made all my six classes in school and after school when I finished it was ready I was ready about twelve and a half years I learned the Polish literature by a private teacher me and another two friends from Boybeke that was Nusen Wind and David Burstein Every night we went over there about 7.30 and we took one hour and we, to we learned over there the Polish literature because we were in uh, the most language that we used over there was the Polish language. I knew very good the Polish language. Very good. I was very good in the Polish language. In school we learned also German, which I knew good. Also we learned Rus, Rus, uh, 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 Ukrainian, that means Rutanish. And I wasn't bad in school. In school I was good because in the sixth class I learned uh, already algebra 
and it was very, very good. I was very good in school, and I learned by Haskell, uh, by Haskell, uh, I learned Gemure, until about 14 years. 14 years, I went in, in the Bismarck to learn. Bismarck, that was already a different thing altogether. You went in the Bismarck, and you started to make a lining for yourself, either yourself or with another boy, and whatever we didn't know, we had to ask an older boy that he knew, knew already, and he didn't want to tell us uh, or anything that I didn't know until I brought him in a cold drink. And the cold drink had to be from clean water, because over there was never... They were holding the water in a in a bell, and that bell was washed out either twice a year or three times a year, and it was dirt in the bottom. If we brought him in uh, water that it wasn't clean, he said, no, 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 go back, bring clean water, otherwise I wouldn't tell you. And we had to learn good, because my father used to uh, come in twice or three nights in Bismarck to see if I'm learning or not. And he used to forhear me. If I knew it was good, if I didn't know it, he says, uh, why should I give to eat a goy? Tell me why. Okay, we, we learned. And we, I started to help in the business with my father. What was our business? Our business was, on the other side, we dealt with heights. Cow hides, calf skins, and horse hides. And the start, we used to dry those hides. But when I was already 14 years old, we used to salt. In the summer, was yet good. But in the winter, when the hides got frozen, and we had to uh, tear them up, you understand, to be able to salt them, it was very, very hard. Then, when I was 15 years, I started to go out already in the little towns near Boibaki, you understand, to take home whatever my father bought, and I had to figure up already figures. And uh, I was, while I was good in figuring, so my father used to send me out many, many times to different, I went as far as Brozdovitz, that was already not far from Chodorov, I went to Mikhailayev, to Pirodish, you know, in all those little towns to take home skins, and when, when I came home, right away, before anything, my father right away took figures, I should uh, give him the figures right away, before I think over and I'm going to steal away some money from uh, those figures. That was right away his thing. Right away, come over. Let's reckon up. Figured it up. If it was all right, it was all right. If it was missing 20, 30 cents, he said, what did you do with those 20 or 30 cents? You know, it was strict. By us, it was strict business.